Okay, this is how you pitch Storm Heaven. First step, take all the poles out of the pole bag. Match up all the poles into the right pole socket. Alright, so in the tent bag, you should have two sets of dollies, right? Right. A tarp, which you want to keep dry, that's what you sleep on, and the main tent. Easy way to get the tent out the bag, just to flip it over and pull the bag off. And then I would put the tarp back in the bag just to keep it dry. So the next step is you need to completely roll out the whole tent, but you'll need a couple of friends to help you. Alright, the next step is you need to pull, you need to make sure the tent can stretch all the way out. So you want to lay the whole tent out with the inside going up the waist and the bit that will be outside on the ground. Okay, so now you need to lay the poles out so the bits with the points on them go um, parallel to the ground over here. Um, I'll throw one to tear. And then so one goes here, like that with the jaggy bit going up like there and then you get the long long pole so it's got wee holes in it oh yeah that's where the jaggy bit goes into in a minute but there's wee slots on the tent right here and there they go through the wee slots right, and you pass it on okay so the next step is match up the hole to the hole in the tent so that got a wee hole there and then so that can go through and you get the jaggy bit to go through that hole, then through the hole in the tent, and then you go on the other, do it on the other side as well. <laughs> Make sure the poles are straight and that they're not squint, um, because if they're squint, they can break. Cool. So the next step is pulling the other end back over again on itself. So you've closed the tent off. Perfect. Okay, so the next step is to get the dollies out now and you put them on top of the holes, but make, uh, but make sure um, you untie them first. All right, it's better to do it now instead of when the tent is up, or because it's very, very hard to get them up because you'll be reaching up and trying to grab them. So put them on just now. So the next step is getting uh, two uh, pegs on either side of the tent for the dollies to go in. Um, this it doesn't need to be that precise because you're going to be moving them on later on. It's just so once you lift up the tent, it's easier to just hold it up steady. So all you need to do to mount in a peg is put the peg on the ground at a slight angle, around 45 degrees, going that way with the wee lip facing the ground. Don't put it up straight or it'll just get pulled back and it'll fall out. And don't put it at that angle because it just won't hold anything up. So 45 degrees, start off slowly with your hand under it and then get harder and harder and harder. You can also put your foot on it and that keeps it more steady. Also make sure it's uh, the bigger pegs and not just the wee tiny ones because they'll fall out too. So the next bit is about lifting up the tent. What I always do is because you don't want the dolly to fall off, I hold the rope with the pole and that's how I lift up the tent. So the rope's going down, it'll keep the dolly on top. If it's like that, the dolly might fall off. But if you have the rope nice and tight, hold just on the rope, it'll, it'll mean it'll stay on. Three, two, one, left. Now if you can walk along to here just now, just the cash will be gone. Watch the rope at your feet. Awesome, so once this has been put up, um, this is when you just quickly wrap um, these around the dollies. It doesn't really matter if they're a bit tangly and a bit loose, it's just to mean the tank can stay up a bit more. Um, so as you can see, because we've got all these four um, pegs in with the dollies, um, it, it should be it's holding up on its own. Don't worry, that they're not that they're not up properly, and um, they will be moved later on. Um, but the next step is to do up the doors on both sides. To do up the doors is very simple. Um, you put it through the hole, so 
from the center to the hole, um, then I get, and then you've got the wire comes down here. So for the next one, you put it through the hole, then through the wire loop, and then back down, and then carry on doing that all the way down. Um, can you see that? Clearly enough, it's like that. And then pull tight, and then again. So this one's slightly different. This is the front door, so it's just the opposite um, from in the just a bit backwards. So the next bit is to do the uh, corners. So you do all four corners um, with the two guy lines going outwards like this. Um, to this properly, what you want to do is you don't ever want the guy lines at the top of the tent because um, in windy conditions you can't tighten it up. So uh, halfway or just above halfway, pull it out to, to, uh, to the end so that you see that this bit here is as straight as it can be uh, down like a wall. Um, and uh, this is why you've done the door up so that you know the door can actually close properly. Um, then get one of your pegs, it doesn't, it, uh, one of the bigger ones preferably, um, and hit it in to the ground. Now I don't have a working mallet, does anyone have a working mallet? I can probably just push it on with my hands just now. <laughs> um, Magically appears. Um, then hit it in. You want this one to be um, quite far because it's going to be staying in the ground um, and holding it up. Then you do the other one. So it's really important that your ropes are tangled when you're doing this. So just pull it all the way through and then pull it out. And you do need the two in to make that. It's a straight um, straight for ten. So the next bit is more of if you're OCD about this and you're at a patrol competition and you need everything to be straight. Um, what you can do, because you need to do these three guy lines here, but what I recommend is you want all these lines, to, all these pegs to be roughly lined up. So you can peg these in before you put them on. So you peg them in a bit and then you can kind of have them all lined up with each other. Um, and then when you actually peg them in later on, they'll all be nice and straight. Um, you can also get a string if you really want to and they can actually make sure they're lined up if you're being really, really OCD about it and you're at a really short competition camp. But that just means that all the pegs line up that we can do is under the knot and then wrap it around and then tighten it up and try to make it on sprint as well. That's all you need to do. Make sure yeah, there's the rope around it, hammer it in a bit more just to make sure it's a bit tighter. So the next step is uh, pegging it up with the little small pegs and um, just the uh, lower um, sort of wee string bits, I don't really know what they're called. Um, what you do is you put the peg in around it, so this one goes at the door, you do all four corners first still, peg in. These ones can be roughly straight, it doesn't really matter too much, put them as much as possible. And then what you do is you twist. Um, the rope and then put it on and that should stay in and um, if you want you can peg it in a bit more just for extra security um, yeah. all right so once you've done the four corners and um, you want to uh, do the walls and also the doors but so make sure this uh, bit is on the inside of the tent because you don't want this showing as it'll get more water in the tent so that's on the inside and then same again <laughs> put the peg in and then just twist it around it Um, so the last step in actually pitching um, is moving these um, so they're not in your way when you get at the tent. Um, so you're going to be making a Scotland flag on the side of the tent. Um, but this is really important because if these go down, the tent might fall over. So just make sure your poles are nice and straight on the ground because sometimes they can still be a bit squint. Um, like that. Okay. So all you need to do is you need to pull these right down to the very, very bottom. And then just literally throw them over to the side. So this one will go diagonally across to that side of the tent. And then same, then this one, pull it all the way down and go diagonally to that side of the tent. And then that means it's turned over on the dollies. You probably get some fun, but um, the dolly's now on the other side. And then you'll do the same on the other side. Then you make a Scotland flag and I'll show you how to pitch it after that. So now we've made the Scotland flag, we're just making a cross. Um, it's really important that these don't touch the tent, so you want them nice and tight. Um, again, for a neatness point of view, 
um, I always put them in the uh, between the last two dollies in line at a slight angle, kind of facing up. Again, peg out, peg it down first, halfway. Then put it round, making sure it's not squint. And then you can peg it in more and then tighten up. And then it just means that that's nice and tight. Nice and tight and it's also still in line. And then you do this one again. Um, but again, make sure it's de definitely not touching the fabric of the tent. If it's touching the fabric of the tent, uh, water might leak through. Um, right there. And then tighten that up again. And the, yes, the ropes can touch, but as long as they're not touching touch each other, but as long as they're not touching the tent, you're fine. Right, so the next part is put the tarp in the tent. And this is the last part before you can get into bed. Right, so you undo the whole door again. Just tie, tie it up like that. You can undo off this peg as well, um, just so you can get as much space as possible. You need someone to go in the tent. So, inside the tent, again, it's about a six man tent, a little tight space. So what you want to do is you want to unroll the tarp, and you want this corner here uh, to be facing upwards, uh, just so this is always nice and clean. And then hand it down that end, and go to that corner. And there's the... <laughs> Got that corner over there. <laughs> I get it wrong. Um, and you want the corner to go to the corners just here as well. And maybe just set on top of the best panel of the um, inner of the tent. The, fabric that's inside. Now just keep it nice and dry. Um, just nice and tight. Um, yeah, so nice and tight. Again, do go in on your shoes to put your shoes on top. Um, and you don't want any grass showing because that will get the dew in the morning, will get it wet. What's always a nice hint though, is if, see how there's a wee line down there? Going across that wee fold there. I like you see that to it. Yeah. Do we fold down here? What I always do is when you don't have any, when you're not sleeping, obviously, I fold that over, um, just a tiny bit, and then you can sit, you can walk them down, walk up and down the tent with your shoes on, and imagine your stuff's there, um, have your bags on that side, and then it kind of just rolls up your sleeping bag, and that will keep it all dry, and you can get, go in and out your tent, 